Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves 2 as Austria-Hungary, episode number 20-something or other, not really sure anymore. War with England is going very well so far. Um, we're way up in victory points. We're, we are getting notifications about uh, the imminent collapse of the people. No, I mean they are feeling the, the embargo. Um, not embargo, but blockade, the submarine-based blockade, or the submarine anti-shipping operations. Uh, now, we have all these victory points, need I remind you, because of a really spectacular victory in the last episode. It's pro probably my favorite victory of this series so far. Uh, the one armored cruiser and a few destroyers sinking two British battle cruisers. It's <laughs> it's just that's awesome and the game I really like games that give you this opportunity that They're believable first of all. It has to be believable. It can't be one destroyer sinking four battleships because it's just I mean <laughs> I can't imagine a realistic way that that would happen and even the storyline if I was if you told somebody yeah one armored cruiser You know an armored cruiser not a heavy cruiser an armored cruiser an old armored cruiser although it's like it was on the borderline of being a battle cruiser. You said that, you know, armored cruiser and a few destroyers sank two battle cruisers and some other ships. It's on the borderline of credible of being credible. It might not be. It might be incredible. Anyway, what am I trying to do here, though? Do we have any balance of trade protection forces and all that? Is everything looking okay there? Yeah, we have plenty of ASW. Let's let's move on. Coastal raid. It's not bad on the thing I'm worried about with coastal raids is running into a minefield. Um I can decline this though. Convoy defense. Now they do have some ships in this area, but Two battlecruisers less than they did before, so I think this is the one I want to accept. Now, we own Malta now, and I think we have aircraft there. Oh, okay. Very good. Another coastal raid, which I suppose we'll decline that one as well. Yeah, we'll let our, our allies buy the rights to something. Food is still becoming scarce. 95 enemy merchants sunk. Actually, eight friendly merchants sunk. They do have 25 submarines in operation. We might have to do something about that. So the British people are undergoing hardship from our submarine operations, which is good to see. And we do have plenty of money too. I have a feeling that we're about to win another war against Great Britain, and I, it also looks good that this war would also be um, a victory, which gives us some, some territory or reparations or what have you. And the Mozarts here are all out of, they're all obsolete. They need to be refit. What does that look like? Well, it gives them increased elevation, which is a good thing to get. Not ideal to be doing this in the middle of a war, uh, but the war has gone well enough for us that we can probably afford three months to do this refit. Um, 48 weight remaining, that's actually quite a lot. Yeah, we probably could throw on some secondary guns. Yeah. It's not worth it, I don't, I don't think. We will do the increased elevation and then we can consider Doing something else. This is a really good light cruiser. I didn't realize the armor on this thing was so heavy. 6,500. Yeah, it's funny because this, the protected cruiser armor scheme, I'm trying to think how it happened in real life. So protected cruisers went away, but in in our games, in my games at least, protected cruisers, I keep them around until like the mid-30s. They just last forever. 
And then when I think like, what are the older ships which saw service? I mean, there was a lot of older ships which saw. I mean, just think of the Congos. Um, a lot of older ships which saw service. A lot of like all the World War One ships were. A lot of them were still present for World War Two, some twenty years later. Anyway, eh, we're not going to change any of this stuff. I don't think cramped. Uh, you can't even change cramped accommodations. So we'll just refit it, and I will rebuild all those at war. Um, is that the mark of overconfidence, perhaps? They are uh, very shy, quite shy of blockade here. So we don't really need to worry about that. And we're definitely uh, way, way outnumbered. Could be invaded in Northern Europe, but I don't have battleships which are not short range in order to do anything about that anyway. So, just gonna have to live with that. Need to make sure I plan ahead for the next war. Convoy attack. Um, there's only one battle cruiser up here, and five. You know what? I could accept this. It's actually close to no. Yeah, it actually, it, this is close to my airfield as well. It's just crazy to think that Austria-Hungary <laughs> controls Ireland. So there's our air base, I guess. Oh, here it is. Air, air base cork. Okay. So air base cork will be launching some stuff. We're on a convoy attack. Now the problem is that we do need to sink transports in order to get our victory points. But seeing that there was only one battlecruiser in the area was, I mean, that's all I needed to know to give the order to attack. I could have a lot of, okay, there's destroyers. I could have a lot of other stuff here that could give me some problems. I think that they're going to have a battle cruiser here. And I don't know if I could say all three of ours are capable of dealing with it. Um, I would love to get to stay on the wind side, but I, more importantly, really need to avoid incoming torpedoes. That's got to be a light cruiser. Mm, yeah, okay, destroyer, that also makes sense. Oh! That is interesting. So from the back, I think I will, I, that could be, oh, there's some gunfire. That could be the battle cruiser. Um, I don't want to pursue it yet. By the way, what's, what actually is happening? Oh! So they have some transports way over there. It's kind of an interesting place to put them. Maybe the game doesn't know how to not have Ireland controlled by the British. It still spawns them there. Okay, that destroyer is a goner. But I, I want to find out where their transports are. Do a murderous drive-by. Perhaps turn back and go get that uh, ship off to our west. Well, here comes a, a scout of some kind. I believe a scout, yeah. And there they are. Okay. So the, the destroyers are going to tighten up now. We've reached their line. They uh, really can't let us come in, but huh, what choice do they have? Claims. Oh, this is... No. Okay, well, we landed a... <laughs> a hit on a destroyer. Just a few hits is probably enough to really do significant damage to these destroyers. And we do have somebody off to our south. Don't know what that is. Well, this acorn is getting drilled. Okay, wait, wait. 
light cruiser, and that would have to be the battle cruiser. Do I want to go in first or second? Well, let's get our six transports. I guess that's the most important thing so that we win the battle. You can do some hard maneuvering here, just make sure I don't get hit by a torpedo. We do have a light cruiser over here. And if we find, by the way, the battle cruiser, then we know it's not that one, but I'm pretty sure it is. Well, I guess I'm not. I'm not pretty sure. I'm. That's my guess. My su strong suspicion, maybe we could say. Okay, that acorn is dead as. As dead as dead can be. So please stop firing at it. Or don't stop firing, I guess. It's the other alternative. Okay, now we have to swing in. And what is up here? Oh, it only claims to be a light cruiser down there. So they may not have, they may, they really may not have um, a battle cruiser here at all, as much as I was worried about it. For good reason, I mean, it's not something we want to encounter un unprepared. This might even be a good time to launch torpedoes, not that we expect to hit anything, but the Cares Fort. Hmm, out of arc. I might have waited too long already. I think I'll turn in here. Hard, hard, hard. So we don't take any torpedoes and then turn back away. We're doing a number on these light cruisers, poor guys. Ah! Okay, I can't tell the positions. Okay, that's good, because that, that can go right into the merchants if we don't hit. Fine by me. And good, good angling, though. That way we don't get hit by torpedoes. <laughs> I'll tell you, the cares for the Phaeton's actually come to a stop, which makes her a great target. Ugh. We need to wait a little bit longer. Okay, now I can turn. Okay, good. Now, now we're okay. And one more Phaeton is coming up. We might be able to launch torpedoes with the rearmost. Could get lucky. Just one to make sure she's going down. That's all it would take. It seems like we've drawn the ire of the rest of their destroyers. Gonna try to do, okay, wow, we actually got that. That was uh, one in a million shot. Um, wait, did we actually turn on to improve torpedo launching? No, I think I've improved night fighting, so. Lots of guns going blazing away. And we just have such a good angle that it won't be able to launch torpedoes here, so it's it's like perfect. We will want to turn around and go finish off the Phaeton over there. Not too early, of course. Make sure we don't get hit by torpedoes after all our diligence early on. But now things look really good, so I'll, let me go ahead and run at speed. If we can. Okay, we have a CA over there, which is probably the other Phaeton. I think I only have one. Uh, don't cut in. Cut out instead. This Phaeton, what's going on with you? You're already sunk. Okay. And let's go wreak havoc on the transports. One flying boat has come. It's on a recon mission, so not, not going to be very helpful in the attack. Okay, let's move, 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 move. Another light cruiser. Yep, there's the other Phaeton. Let me focus fire on this one. Because I guess all the other ones are sinking already. Yeah, and now we're just going to start blasting into their line. Do need to get 
Six kills. Which is quite a number. Shouldn't be too hard to do as long as we have plenty of secondary guns, and I believe we do. I wish I could disable firing the mains and just let the secondary guns just blaze a trail of carnage through this transport ship line. You know what's funny to think about is this is a transport ship line which has already been beleaguered. I mean, not this particular one, but just in general. It's already like in bad shape because of all the submarine activity. And now, to add insult to injury, we have three basically merchant raiders <laughs> sinking the a very big convoy which happened to get through. I mean, that medium ship's dead. I was going to cut inside of it, but didn't look wise in the end. All right, and yes, we are expecting to see more ships that way. We will pursue them. Um, what's our actual squad max? Probably go down to 20. Oh, okay, never mind. Go as fast as possible. We don't want to be here when the when night closes in. But we have a little bit more time. Not much, but a little bit more. And then we can go to our home friendly port, which is insane. To have a home friendly port this close to England. I mean, you can't get any closer than Ireland. Now, this is interesting. This, what is this? We don't know. We're hitting it. Well, we are hitting it, whatever it is. I don't think it's an armored cruiser. It might be a destroyer, misidentified. I do smell um, blood in the water, though. I'm being a little bit more aggressive. What kind of arc will we need to get that? Okay, it might, might have been just a destroyer, and now we've... Oh, Leopold was hit by a torpedo. Okay, well, we pushed our luck pretty hard, and now we've paid the price for it. Let's detach Leopold. Let's see if we can get him. to port. Good. Do you want you on AI control? Off AI control, I should say. So you're down to set six, maybe? Five, even? You get the other group to head south as cover. Okay, how are you doing? Flooding is only at 77. Things look good for a safe arrival at Cork. Probably some repairs, so plenty of repair time after that. In the meantime, the rest of the gang will soldier on. It's kind of a defense force. And I saw her limit flooding twice. Wow, she's actually this is in very good shape. Gonna move her up to six and try to get her into cork. But hey, if she's not flooding, then she's fine. So all we need to do is make sure that, yeah, these guys are taken care of. Well, that one's now definitely going down. Leopold, and we have to stay away from Leopold so she doesn't reattach and then speed up and then cause bulkhead ruptures or whatever. Six is about as fast as I'm willing to go. So at this point, we speed up. And there it is. Oh my gosh, did she sink? She did not sink. She was hit by a submarine after being hit by a torpedo already, but only... Only suffered, only suffered heavy damage. <laughs> I mean, really, that could have been much worse. Anyways, this ended up being like another very big, look at that, we like really cleared them out. Three light cruisers, five destroyers. And the British must really hate the Austro-Hungarians. <laughs> I don't blame them. So we can see down here, we should get, yep, there it is, a hit from the tor from uh, torpedo from their coastal submarine, but we survived it.
Well, there we go. Another 3,000 victory points going our way. Just furthering the gap between us. And we have better fire control. That's that's very good. I'm going to say no to all on this. Not really sure how we're going to... Oh. Okay. Four enemy merchants sunk. This is a better showing for us. 88 enemy merchant sunk, that's good. Ah, and I see they're raiding in South South American East Coast and the Mediterranean. They actually have three? They have somebody raiding the Mediterranean? Huh. Well, those kind of quick battles, I like I said, uh, those are fun to fight. Would not mind continuing to fight those. I should also mark here 190 is our funds limit. Once we get up to 190, it'll be absolutely time to build something. Coastal raid. Now, I prefer not to do it. Don't mind. A cruiser action. That I could do. Please be an armored cruiser? No. Okay, this is going to be a ho-hum, kind of boring battle. may end up we never even get in contact. In fact, let's just sell home. <laughs> See if our aircrafts detect anything. We have Von Marcotts. This is Okay. No. Yeah, I like cruiser to destroy. It's just not even worth my time. A perfect draw. Alright. Other. Okay, so wait. Intelligence is considering offering a safe passage of Lenin <laughs> for a revolutionary of some renown to his home country, Great Britain. This will form a revolution and may force them to the negotiating table. On the other hand, Revolutions tend to be contagious. What do you recommend? I don't know. We get free prestige. I don't know what it... Uh, I'm going to choose this option. Just to end the war as soon as possible. Okay, good. Good to see that they're losing some. Yeah, I mean, just every month we feel like they're getting closer and closer to the end. Mozarts are about to come back out. The Rashers are about 10 months away, nine, 10 months away. Who else needs to get updated? So it's 1923, Furchtum was Actually, it brought into service in 1915. She's getting close to needing a refit. And you know, we might as well cycle these ones at, in and out since this one, they need director firing, she needs raised elevation, she needs a lot of things, and she probably would benefit from light anti aircraft as well. Oh my gosh, she actually has like the full load. My goodness. I know that she's the only one of her class because the other one was sunk. But we could put light, yeah, we could put a lot of light AA guns on here. She's also a good candidate for our first destroyer. Ah, uh, destroyer. First um, full carrier conversion, carrier conversion. Yeah, we can get 19, I mean, I guess we can get 20. It's, it's worth it to do. Oh, could have improved main guns, okay. Quality zero. It's a bit more expensive. Um, turret armor is okay. It's a moment, by the way, for those of you who don't know. I think replacing the guns is a moment where you could actually change the turret armor. No, and, and, and you know, one of the rare moments since you're building new turrets anyway. I would say this is good enough. It's still a very good fighting ship, even though it's 
already not as good as several of our other ships. And we can expect the enemy and we'll have ships as good as our other ships as well. So, but she can, I mean, if she can't win a one-on-one, -on -one, at least statistically over numerous, you know, on an ensemble average, she could get lucky and she can hold her own pretty well. Another convoy attack. We only have two cruisers now. Battle size is large. I'm just going to decline these because I don't think it's important. This one's also outside of Malta. Medium battle size. Um, okay, fine. Thank goodness they <laughs> declined. Cruiser action here, and they have no battle cruisers. I will accept that. Oh, and hey, Germany has joined our forces as well. Oh my goodness, in a great way. Wow. Now, is it worth it to take the huge victory point penalty, but sink the battlecruiser? <laughs> uh, I don't know. You know. We may not have a choice even. With this poor of weather, it, it may be very hard for us to actually get around torpedoes. Although the sun is coming up, and not soon enough, if you ask me. Okay, that's really good. So there's nobody close enough that we at least immediately did identify them. I think I will just keep them on their different courses. Okay, this might be a little bit too extreme. Okay, wow, they were just going right through the middle of us. Let's go up to 20, what's your squad max? 27, wow, let's go up to, well, you gotta go to squad max, squad max. Boy, that is a number. So what do they have here? Are those light cruisers or are they battleships? I mean, if it is, oh, okay. They have a battle cruiser here. And their battle cruiser, 38,000, oh my gosh. Can beat the snot out of ours. So we're gonna exercise that old expression, discretion is the greater part of valor or whatever it is. And we're gonna disengage while we can. As fun as it would be to get the Wolfka killed. Just to limit the, excuse me. Just limit the German's fleet, make them rebuild stuff. Just kind of, so it's a, a brutal little punch to them. So far, so good. They're just chasing. Quality one 14 inch guns. Well, that is something, isn't it? <laughs> Olka's just taking hit after hit. She's very close to port though. I think we're gonna be able to get there. And she's landing a few hits here and there. Oh, four inch guns, Never mind. But it looks like they also landed. Oh man, no. Not you. Looks like they also landed hits only with their light guns. That's not a big deal. The British want revenge. And I don't blame them. Kind of excited to see how this battle goes. Like, let me see. <laughs> Do we get out of there?
Okay. Well, I'm not really sure what's gonna happen here. Go ahead and enter port. Okay. Ah, uh, well, that was an interesting enough battle. Not really. Oh, wow. A bomb hit? Oh my gosh. This was very unexpected. Flying boats level bombing, and they're doing good work. One sec. Oh my. Oof. Gotta get this battle over with. Just air attacks from here on in anyway. Oh my gosh, we attacked an enemy submarine too. It is like a big floating aircraft carrier right next to the British. And we probably should, you know, continue to use it that way. This battle's almost over. 400 minutes out of the 500. I'm not sure what this one was. Was it a... We had no objectives. Okay, that's good. Still attacking? Are we still doing anything against their their forces? As far as aircraft go, guess that'll be the end of it. 500A, it's over. Okay. Maybe not. There we go. So, wow, they actually did medium damage with only a few of those hits. And we didn't really do anything with our aircraft. Enemy minor victory, it was like 277, 276. What the heck? That's a draw. Okay, one of our light cruisers took a torpedo from a submarine, but they'll be fine. Just need to get repaired for a bit. This is what I like to see. Three sunk, two enemy submarines sunk. Three of ours for two of theirs. Versus 83 of theirs for two of ours. And this, eventually it's going to happen. It's all going to happen soon enough. Okay, let's continue to push. Knock them out. Unexpected battle. Okay, well, we have to take this, obviously. Let me get the Multica again. Oh, no, we actually got... Oh, these are armored cruisers. Hideous, ugly armored cruisers. I guess this is a convoy defense. I didn't actually even see, but yeah, you know, it's pretty apparent. Oh no, those are under AI control. Um, well, let's just push on, I guess. Until we make contact and see what we're fighting. If it's another uh, battle cruiser, we... Yeah, well, we have the, the German ships. Mm-hmm. 33. Oh, that's good. So, I... We might... This might be the time when we do decide to sacrifice... By the way, what's your... Oh, 25. That's pretty good. We might try to, to sacrifice some German ships here. We have a, enough of a victory point lead that it won't... Shouldn't negatively impact our war too much. This should be, I guess this is a bait? I'm not sure, I mean they're getting close enough that we can land some hits. If it's just a group of destroyers, I feel bad. There's something out there, right? Yeah, I think it's a light cruiser. Well, let's gear up to squad max and try to hunt, hunt it down. Pop 
hollow glass. 24 knots. Okay, so we should be able to chase it down. We do have the British destroyers if, you know, worse comes to worse. Just charge ahead with them. See if we can get, <laughs> you know, cut off the Apollo or do something like that, something crazy. Trying to run this one pretty quickly, but it does mean some of my maneuvering is less than perfect. Getting pretty close now. Should be. Yeah, we're definitely in gun range. Just landing a few more. Oh, and uns. Oh, no, no, that's fine. Yeah, let's get you guys up to squad max now. Little does she know that. <laughs> She cannot hide. She cannot hide. Some more hits. And we are directing her, it looks like, up towards the fresh set of <laughs> cruisers. Uh, that's a bum battle for her. I feel bad. But not bad enough to give away a victory. Let's go back down to cruise. She's done. Okay. I think that's it. Let's just go back for cork. I mean, the transports are well away. I don't even know where they are. Doesn't matter anyway. Good fight. Very good fight. And I think I got cork selected properly. Oh gosh, that scared me. Yep, said fort. Okay, so one light cruiser, one destroyer sunk for no, really nothing. Wow. Revolutionary ideas from Great Britain are infecting our workers and soldiers. <laughs> oh, all right, that's kind of exciting. Let's see what our unrest level does. Good. How much I don't care about that. Quality one 13 inch guns. And they, oh, early air launch torpedoes. We can finally build torpedo bombers. How could we do torpedo bombers without that? Okay, unrest level two. So we were, I saw that our unrest, unrest level was at zero when I did that revolutionary thing, because I knew we had a, like a reserve of unrest. It was a calculated risk, and I think it was worth it. Um, I really want to decline all of these now. Huh, of course. Well, I guess we can try to do this one really quickly. Maybe just... Oh! Nah, uh, I think I just want to flee. So it is early morning. We could... Uh, I just don't... I don't want to be a part of this one. So, oh shoot, I forgot to do scouting. Okay, well the scouting they'll do it on their own. And as soon as I have the ability to control the ships, we'll pause and we'll just change direction. 
I doubt that they will expect us to go this way. So let's do that. I got something. So what do we have though? One light cruiser? Ah, uh, all right, fine. I, I mean, I guess the least I can do is have some fun doing a torpedo bombing attack. Okay. Well, let's just have them target the target. Good luck. Yeah, it's fine. It's just for fun. Might lose some victory points, but it's still going to be fun. Kind of get all these guys going north, even the carrier, because then we can recover the airplanes a little faster. Is one of these the attack? No. Oh wow, they're way over there. Well, whatever, we missed them, that's fine. Just patrolling through our uh, through our waters. Two light cruisers, yeah, it wasn't really worth it anyway. And, oh, there it is. So what does Great Britain become after a revolution? Uh, even more of a democracy? Do they become like, you know, I don't know, fascist or communist maybe? Oh my gosh, holy crap. Well, the extreme peace agreement is working enormously in our favor here. We will take Egypt this time. We'll take Cyprus. Oh my gosh, we could start moving in on new territory. I think that that's all we're going to take. We're going to get a huge amount of reparations if we just take these two. These are honestly the only two that make sense to me to take. I don't really want more places with foreign stations. I mean, Egypt and Cyprus, this is really a good step for us. Um, I'm trying to think where else would I go? Could go into the Mediterranean, I mean the Caribbean. That is, that is an idea. That would kind of put us at odds with the United States. I'd rather, I mean, if we go to war with the United States, I'd rather not have a, a place that's just going to be invaded constantly like that. Let's take the points. We're going to take two really good territories. And Malaya is given to Great Britain, um, given to Germany from Great Britain as well. It's good. And whole construction, okay. And then we almost have all or nothing. I can't believe that we don't. It's funny. I don't even remember all or nothing. Well, all or nothing is not. What is it that we don't have? We don't have torpedo protection too, right? Let's go to design. I'm, I'm not going to design a ship right now. We're going to call this video to a close, but I, I probably will design a another Dreadnought next time. Okay, we have two. We don't have three. But two is good. I mean, two's at this point probably the minimum we want. I mean, definitely the minimum we want for any of our capital ships. Ideally, three or four. Huh. Well, we have quality... Zero 16-inch guns, so those are definitely the ones we would use. Pretty good gun qualities overall. Got that one 10 quality negative one guns, which is of course the way it happens when you are using your quality 10, I mean your 10-inch guns. Huh. This will be kind of a fun, I think the next one is going to be fun to build. We'll see, we'll see though. 
Anyways, I'm going to wrap this one up here. Success. Great Britain has been driven out of the Mediterranean. Austria-Hungary, 20 points. I mean, if I wasn't so tired, <laughs> I would be, like, ecstatic. But, I mean, there's also the fact that we have already won in this, what was it, 16 or 18? I, I already forgot. A huge peace agreement. So, and it looks like that although I wanted to build those battleships um, with, okay, we haven't put people on reserve fleet yet, so that's the first thing to do. And there's going to be some that can't go, that's fine. We'll move them back and maneuver the corvettes around so that we get only the corvettes out doing foreign stations. And just that has already saved us like 4,000 a month, which is, now we have enough, I think, I'm gonna say, now I think we have enough to justify building a new battleship. Is that what we need though? Well, I think we're okay on armored cruisers, even though people are probably starting to build heavy cruisers at this point. Because I think a new battleship would be really nice. Uh, yeah, we're, we're falling behind. We're behind France, we're behind Russia, and they're 185 total. We're not really behind France, if you think about it. They have one more than us, but their tonnage is really low. So they're they're averaging around, like, what, like 30,000? Under 30,000? 27.5, I guess. Anyway. Well, anyway, I've fallen asleep twice trying to record this, so we will wrap it up here. Figure out how to properly adjust our ships in the next episode. Figure out what we're going to build. Man, I, I think that we're kind of edging towards status of one of the greatest navies in the world. U.S. probably takes the title. Great Britain, you'd have to say, has been completely deposed from that one. And Germany might be... Um, might be a good target for us if they weren't our ally. We'll see. Until the next one, thanks for watching, stay safe, and take care.